Blessings, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to In the Streets with Big Stone. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have gone all the way overseas and we have brought back an artist, a superb artist by the name of Brockout. He was born Earl Frederick. He hails from Dominica, Rosa. He'll explain more to you about that. But today, we're going to explore the fact that he has two massive songs on the chart. One is Mayhem, and the other is Brockout. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, help Big Stone welcome to End the Streets with Brockout. Big up, big up, Brockout, big what Nah, man, no one you don't know, man. Don't do the thing, go, man. Broke out in the building. In broke out for two ladies and gentlemen, you ready like Freddy? Ready, man, prepare everything. Broke out, you're here in Jamaica, right? And Jamaica is the land of opportunity. Jamaica is like the melting pot yes, sir. when it comes to dance, uh, reggae music, and other cultures. What made you choose Jamaica as an artist that is doing dance? Uh, what is dance uh, like in Dominica? Well, dance all Dominica with respect, Dominica. Mm -hmm. You understand? But Jamaica, we know, we know, fully love the dance all from long time, from Shabba days, mm -hmm. Inter Metro, yes. so, so long may I go back. You understand? Yeah, yeah. Admiral Bailey. Yeah. You understand? So, me love music from a long time. Me love the, the, the way you can express yourself in dance all. Mm -hmm. Dominica music, there is soca music, which is limited to me. Okay. Because I write my own songs like for the first as poetry. Okay. So, the music now is more listen to the beat mm -hmm. and then move. But dancer, I have to listen to a dancer I say from a different message. So mm -hmm. I'm falling in love with dancer from an early age. That's okay. my love for dancer. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, to see him call out some of the stalwarts, mm -hmm. like Peter Metro and Chevron yes. and Admiral Bailey, because they are the pioneer for the business, you know. And we have Wooly more pioneer. Mm -hmm. So, at what age you started? Because you said you've been doing this for quite some time. Well, I started writing music like early, like. 1450, I write poetry. Mm -hmm. Then I follow Shabba Ranks. Mm -hmm. Shabba Ranks' aggression and his power on stage. I fell in love with that. And then my love grew further when I link, when I saw Bone Tequila. And mm -hmm. then, then it, it changed differently. And I mm -hmm. said, nah, man, I'm going to start to write my own song there. So from since 14 years, I write songs straight up. All right, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, you know, Big Stone Forum is one of them lively, active forum. So we're going to hear a tune, one of the early tunes from Brown Carlo. Well, this one we have put on right now, this one in Hustle. Yeah. Yeah. It goes like, when me touch the ends, me and couple friends, thousand dollar bills, keep your couple tens, money transaction, money action, very cash on, very cash pan, me a strike on the defender, no last man, me a move fast and jubilant pass on, oh. me a boss man, leave up a class man, me no want it, but me cross man, leave every day like me, shh, last one, need a man chance, it was a rancher, and boom, feed the your sellers, real your sellers, money your sellers, yo! Yeah, man. <laughs> You know the same about me, I go on. You know the same about me, I go on. Yeah. Me love it, me love it, me love it. For everything we do, me love music so much. Mm -hmm. Like everything we write, the music in my head, even a cappella, mm -hmm. me have a, 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 a beat in my head I create when me I write. You when know, I write, say, yeah. Jamaican, that's what I'm so um, fascinated about because our culture, we're taking it for granted, while others are seeing it as profitable and coming more into our culture. So we need to clean up the thing some way, you know, brother, because great people are coming from the outside and coming in. Tell us a little bit more about your, your yeah. songs that you... Well, respect to things. I'm mm -hmm. from Dominica. Mm -hmm. Respect what I spent many years in Antigua. Oh, so okay. Antigua is a place where brought me nearer to dance home because, you know, Jam Antigua have that large population of Jamaicans. Mm. Yes, that's me. I have a lot of Jamaican friends and mm. my, my accent and start to develop my music differently because Dominican accent is much different than Jamaican accent. Michael, give me an idea what you're talking about, Dominican accent. No, the way, the way they, 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 they articulate them, they think Dominica is a different than what I Give me the articulation. So the Jamaican, remember that Jamaican yeah. fan base mm. this you have now, you know. Re so remember, I want to hear what you sound like in a Dominica. Can you help me? Realm, Dominica. Well, well, certain words they would say differently. They would yeah. pronounce things differently. Like, um, like they would say like, let's go to the shop now. Or there are certain things they say. You know, like me don't really have it like that. Like thing like that. But me know certain things them say different. Yeah. Because I thought Dominica, me know me used to have it. But mm -hmm. me know they how they articulate the words them. But yeah. the Jamaican dialect raw. Raw. So, so when it raw, now we give it that 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 dance all essence or express yourself different with that power. Yeah. So that's me read the, the, the accent. So you have to have the accent. To be in the dance hall. So, so why you try to be a Jamaican? Not trying to be a Jamaican. If you're in dance hall, you have to adapt it. 
Yeah. Just like if you go to Trinidad and you want to do soca, you have to have the, the accent to, to sit down with the soca comfortably. You understand what I say? So you should understand. So you have to be in it to understand what I say. Like I'm talking. I'm going to big up the Antigua people. Man. All yeah, the Americans with the Antigua. Yeah, Look out for Brock out. Brock out. <laughs> so, Brock out. Yeah. You started at the age of 14. Was music your only love? What did you see other than music? Because sometimes, you know, you look on a career. Yeah. And the career, well, you know, go out with nothing, you know. You have to have a backup on the career, you know. Yeah. So what were you looking at other than music? Well, me always, me always love literature. Me always love writing. Okay. Yeah. Always like my passion, writing, mm. expressing myself. And even back in school days, me always started writing poems. So me for the music, you now it became easy. Mm. So I have the poetry and I just give it melody. Mm. So it became easy. You understand? So but when we went antique is a different thing, I never take music like that. Mm. May I write years, may I mm. record years, but nothing gonna professional level like that. Mm. We don't do it for the love of it, because I love dancers. So when the new rhythm come out, me always uh, try to get a truth, a rhythm and write and record and you mm. understand just put on mm. like a trophy. Mm. Maybe maybe me never have had the the encouragement wrong me like that time, mm. you understand what I'm mean? saying? It's only like two thousand, late two thousand fifteen. Mm. Honestly God me met chemist, Kema, within him, that's um, family of Big Ship Records. Yes. He was on a venture in Antigua at the time, helping mm -hmm. promote artists and show them the dance hall flavor. And then, mm -hmm. you know, we link up and, you know, he heard me. From mm -hmm. he heard me say, nah, man, you go, the wiki come. Let's grab him right there. Yeah, man, bro, because he had an audition. Yeah. For certain artists and try to link them up in a camp and, you know, show them the dance hall route, which are already closed. And mm -hmm. a friend linked me with him, man. From me link up and he said, listen to me, you know what I have. From me listen to me, he said, nah, man, bro, come here, sir. So. so we started work from there. Mm. Man, I read him with him now with him, Yard Flex, which mm. take when they read him to Luciano. Mm -hmm. You know, so from from this from 2015, mm -hmm. me realizing that I have the power, mm -hmm. and me can sit up on this talent like that. And then you come book up and big big um, distributor, big artists like banging. Yeah, that's what I say. From from 2015, <laughs> when we, we, we you, think, you think as well. So then we went back home 2016 mm -hmm. and said, Nah, man, we went. My people and my parents and we in dialogue and I told them, say, what well, we really want to pursue my career. Mm. And you know, me have it and people, everybody say me have it. Why me know about a long time? But they never know, say, me never make that step. It's only no me make that so step. So were your parents and family, um, were they um, giving you the push? Always, always, you always so supportive, on? always supportive. My parents always supported. Mm. You have to get big respect for that. You understand, my mother, my father. Always there for me, all the time. And they make them know, say, I want to pursue this. Because I can't make this talent dead like that. Because everybody here, I mean, can't believe, why you know boss yet? A Jamaican here, video broke out. And I say, I have to do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, all yeah. right. You hear a little bit from broke out with Hustle. You have to hear some more from broke out now with Mayhem. <laughs> so, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, this is broke out doing Mayhem. You yeah, have to create Mayhem the Liar. Every day it a mayhem, from the PM to the AM When man a work hard for the boss like dog at the end of the day they don't pay them Lord God beg you to save them, now them a move mad Kill and a rapture the pick if I'm out of the playpen Like the devil enslave them, when he harmless To the harmful youth, them a farm full, then a walk on school Then a walk work on the dirt of the farm tool And them violent guns, them a pull them Pull up a hatred, please get up like when they make a big bread. When me a slip job, provide a safe bed with them high red. Why I the child know every day it a mayhem from the PM to the AM. When man a work hard for the boss like dog at the end of the day, they don't pay them. Yeah, God, God beg you to save them. No, them a move mad, kill and a rob, shall they pick me from out of the playpen. Like the devil and slave them. Yo, when the recession hits and for up on me, fit to me, us a pan straight seven days of the week. Brrr. Lord, God beg you to save them. Lord, baby, let me see them. Yeah, this is me I'm coming at you. Yeah. I love that one there, you know? Yes, sir, respect. That one that whole heap of energy, I have. Yeah, because they come from, we come from a place them accommodating them from Kole back in the old Okay. Day. It's a ghetto community. Okay. So that's like Jamaica, they come Jamaica and like they come home. Okay. Because it's the same, same as us, like yeah. the fight. Get to a ghetto everywhere. And the greed yeah. and the selfishness and the drugs yeah. and yeah. You see everything. So my music, it can relate. To, yeah, to, that's yeah. why I love dancers so much for dancers give you that platform to express yourself. Exactly. Yeah. Dance hall is like a new dance, Yeah, that's the dance hall. Reggae, 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 reggae music. music. Too. Yeah, man. Reggae music also is like a, the people's newspaper because in the days of Bob Marley and Peter Tosh and the great Bonnie Wheel and Burning Spear, they used the music because the voice of the voiceless could not be heard mm -hmm. on the radio talking about their troubles and their problems that they are enduring. Mm -hmm. So the artists who endure it now, put it on wax, 
put it to music and then carry it right to four corners of the world. So you coming on board now through the same angle. It's the reality. It's the reality of the Dominica Rosa people eh? and the reality of the Antiguan people eh? and also the reality of Jamaican people. Poor people all over the world can yeah, relate, relate yeah. to this type of music. Um, what do you see with the music though in terms of, you know, sometimes the dancehall music can be aggressive mm. where one artist tries to take a pop at another artist and next thing you know is a feud going on. Mm. What are your thoughts? In, you have to go giant yeah, yeah, one yeah, of them day day You have to go touch your car one of them day there yeah, yeah, where yeah. I broke out. Yeah. What do you think about that? Me can stand up, you know. You can stand up there? You can stand up. This way look at my, my music. I hear my music. I look at my page and everything. This so me can stand up. Me have artillery. <laughs> me have come in music for that. Yeah. But when me back home, Antigua me write holy for bad man song. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. because me come to Jamaica, yeah. me never write no one bad man song yet. True. Because enough things to talk about rather than that something there. So me not really interested in that topic. I'm have to shake your umbrella because I guess you see, mm. you see the bad man tune them. Mm. Remember, I'm a big man. We can relate and understand to where you youth are saying that they get about mm. three rifles lean up on the wall and mm. four rifles. <laughs> But most of the youth them cannot relate to that. Them take it literally. literally. And yeah. when they take it literally, every man wants a rifle for lean up on the wall. Every man wants a Glock 40, every one wants a 9 or an AR-15. Yeah. And it is creative havoc yeah. in our country. So I'm glad say, the writing of the gun lyrics can I put it down. Oh, Only for your artillery of clashes you can grab back to them cars. Everything is fair in what? Yeah. But <laughs> people, people, people know me, no, Brokaw is not easy. I'm an artist. I'm yeah. yeah. you know, simple. Yeah. How do you it. get the name Brokaw? But Brokaw is like, like a transition. Brokaw is my name definition, transition. Yeah. And I come from people know me, they know me, I'm a cool individual. And yeah. me. But when they see me perform and they know me this music, now they mm -hmm. can't believe them. But you broke out. So from back, they made them stuck. So I have it still from them that carry broke so out. So it's the I mean, fan base it. gave the name broke yeah, out? Yeah, people that know me, that, 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 that know me from back, Dominica. And then see me Antigua, my movements and my music, and me, me keep it up. They yeah. say, well, you broke out from me know you, you broke out. So <laughs> the name from them, the name stuck, and we still have it. Yeah. It's a beautiful name, is that name yeah. where... Me never change it from then. You yeah, know, it it's going to be a hot, hot name in a Jamaica. We can see that in the yeah. making. Dance all has come a long way. And also, dance hall has come a way where the music is now touching an, an international level. Mm -hmm. We're seeing people like Jay Z coming down to Jamaica. We see people like Dre, a power with Popcorn, with some of other things. Step up, we up. We see all that artists that are good in the music. It's brilliant. What are your thoughts on that uh, in terms of? foreign artists coming down, sampling some of our music mm -hmm. and uh, moving the artists them forward. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, well it's good, it's good marketing, it's good for the country, mm -hmm. you know, for the people there and they can learn different cultures and you know the exchange is always good, there's nothing wrong with that. Once okay. you keep it clean and you know, discrimination involved or whatever, but, but once it's music and it's clean and it's good, you know, nothing wrong with that. Yeah. yeah. I accept that. So you're doing the girls song coming, you must have a couple of girls tuning no, in. Well, from everything. In the archive, you know. everything yeah, drop one of the girls tuning in, the girl fans them out there in the bridge and cut them out there, wait for you, you know. <laughs> drop it for them, give me a girl tune yeah. right away. Ladies and gentlemen, rock out with a girl tune. Yeah, we love when you pose off. Ship, ship, she take your clothes off. My like a baby, laid you so soft. He's in a tight tonight and I roll off my girl. <laughs> you know, that's a simple thing, man. <laughs> man, I will but you with I have. Yeah, pile up, me a pile up, me a two more. You know, you pile up the thing. Mm -hmm. So, so, Jamaica is where it's at right now, even though we're experiencing some problem and so on. What are your thoughts, knowing the fact that we have lost since the year started? Today, it came over on the radio that we have lost over 1,359 Jamaicans violently. What are your thoughts on crime and violence and how best we can curve it from an artist's perspective? Well, what I mean, can the artists yeah. do? Well, I'm never in favor of crime, man. You know, I'm never anything like As I told you, I came from a ghetto community to as mm. well. I mean, always know my problem back home was of the reputation of my community. Mm. So where I came from, it was difficult to, to obtain jobs just because of where you came from. Yeah, yeah, I you understand? Guess. So I believe, say, more job opportunities for people and, you know, will, will, will lessen the crime. You mm. understand what I'm saying? But what can that. the artist do now? An artist who say, for instance, come from out of the slum and I make it now. Because yeah. all of them, a good 60% of them go back where they come from and try and pull a man out and try to help them community and uplift them community. Well, what you say? 
I believe, well, as artists, well, you have to look at the bigger picture. You know, those who want to say, give a man a bike or give a man a few drinks, or whatever, is try to build things, organize places where he can employ him, friend them, and, mm. you know, as a massive, you know, mm. so come together, not pick up the American lifestyle and say, you have to have this jewelry, or you have to have this vehicle, or try to be like them. Mm. We come from the Caribbean, we know the Caribbean, be, you know, your lifestyle, be, try means and ways to get people em employed, and that is, you know, what we try to do. And encourage more time, and you know, just be really good people and your friend them. As they say, don't, don't give me the fish, show me how to fish. So I can do my thing independently and be self reliant and exactly. you can be a giant. <laughs> so. Exactly. So, um, in terms of where Jamaica is at right now, what are you working on with in terms of your albums and so on? Take us into that avenue. What, what are you actually doing now? Yep. William Two Tune, Mame, and Broke Out, but is your album coming up? Right now, we just focus on singles. I'm trying to get broke out, out before we put an album. Mm -hmm. I focus on the album. Okay. But we have tunes for album. We have only for two minutes from one day. Mm. We link up now with Bangalore Records, right. City Banging, mm -hmm. TV Music. You know, mm -hmm. we have Natural Entertainment. We have Natural Bridge Records. Mm -hmm. We have all people we link with different and only for tune record consistently. You understand what I'm saying? So we just focus on singles. Come in a link almost every day or every day after me, one record a song. You understand what I'm saying? Right now, we have some out. With me and Sematic mm -hmm. yeah, and City Banging, mm -hmm. so it's a Caribbean tune, one love, one mm -hmm. people. And mm -hmm. you know, that's talking about the situation back back Dominica, because right now I'm here. Mm -hmm. But my country was in a mess because we had to get destroyed one day by Hurricane Maria. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, so me being here and come and talk like this and talk so highly, you know, it, 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 inside differently, make me feel away inside, me emotional inside. But still, you're still, you're still, yeah, because it's people here. Yeah. My people are not all right and they're not comfortable. So, Maybe you must find courage and space. I have to continue doing this. Make you uh, lay back. No, I have to keep on and find that power inside and that drive inside. You understand what I say? So, we love that. We love that. And once you keep that car, the honorable Marcus Garvey said, if you just think about yourself, mm. it will get you no further than yourself. But if you think about all the people in common, it will get you into eternity. And, and, and that is the great part about the honorable Marcus Garvey. You know what I mean? Where can we find, say, a broke out now? Are you on Instagram, Facebook, yeah, me on WhatsApp, Twitter? Really time with the people in me. Yeah, me on Facebook and mm -hmm. broke out, Earl Frederick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The website www.brokeoutmusic.com. Mm -hmm. On Instagram, broke out music if you're cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know the thing on Instagram, 302-5377. That's the Instagram, Jamaican number 876. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and right now, as I mentioned, I say we live with CD banging, so once you hear CD banging music, we find find me anytime. So once you have CD banging contact, you find Brock out the same way too, because I one link, one family. And when I say big respect to also to the arcade family. Okay. And as okay. I said, Dan Kingston, Music Field, DJ Spooky, CD banging, DJ Kenny, like from their arrival, and you know they accept that. Them so they, people, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah they yeah. overwhelm me, because they regard me as part of the team. You know what I'm saying? I say, no, that's a business level. They respect me and my talent, and you know, so I say big respect for that. As well, so. well, you know, we at Big Stone Records and Production, we're here to support the artists and we look forward to supporting the artists. So, not respecting your career, yes, sir. Respect. And we give thanks. Anybody else you want to shout out to in parting? I'll give you a parting song. <laughs> parting song, yeah, yeah. Well, no tune there, but I know we can't make that tune right now. But that's why we got my family there, mm -hmm. everybody back home, and I go for them struggle and everything, and you know, things will get better one day. And, yeah, big up my girl, everything, Christina, and everything. And you know, one miss me, say, man. Big up Mel Brook, and Mel Brook show me the most love. From me, come on, Mel Brook, say, broke out. And he says, I got Mel Brook all the time. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. So, well, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Um, our new artist on this week forum of Industry with Big Stone. His name is Brock Out. Um, he's an artist to reckon with, as you can see. He's very versatile, very clean in his, in his approach. And that's what we're looking for. An artist from the outside coming in, appreciating the culture of Jamaica, working along with the artists like CD Banging and Mr. Banging. You know, these are great people to work with. So you're in good hands. Yes, sir. Thanks a lot for stopping by. Thanks for having me, man. You know, no problem. Rastafari. Chronic.